Guild Wars 2 is almost 12 years old and in these 12 years a lot happened and it is still one of my favorite MMOs out there. In fact, Guild Wars 2 has surpassed its lifetime. ArenaNet initially wanted to end the game development after the third expansion, but here we are. A fourth expansion was just released and two more are announced. But Guild Wars 2 is not just story expansion. What makes this game special are all the little things. A super helpful and friendly community, three story updates in the living world, seasonal events such as the Mad King during Halloween and more. So you see there's a lot to explore if you once get into it and the best, you buy the game and don't have to pay a monthly subscription fee even though it is an MMO. But after 12 years, how would you get started? You're entering this massive world with a player base that is so much more advanced than you. Maybe you have decided to play the free base game first and this is a very good decision. But where would you start? Obviously you will create a character first and choose a region. Which playable race you choose doesn't really matter. They have all different backgrounds story and a few race specific traits affecting the game, such as physical appearance, a personal story, your home instance and some special skills. These special skills are only important for PvE and won't be available in PvP. If you are new to Guild Wars 2, PvE is most likely the game mode you are going to focus on first. So read through the character description and choose what you prefer to play, what matches you. Don't worry, you can create multiple characters later on to experiment. The region however is more important. If you are playing with friends, make sure you select the same region, for example Europe or North America. Unfortunately, these regions are locked and Europeans cannot just play with North Americans, for example. Which world server you choose is only relevant if you head into World vs World. After you created your character, you will be thrown into a story-based intro. The game will give you an introduction to the gameplay mechanics, how to move, fight and so on. In the later game, story-relevant encounters are usually instanced, means you are in there by yourself without having the fear that anyone interferes with your story. You can add friends to your group though and progress through the story together. A good way to help. If you don't have any friends to play with, check out the looking for group tool. Use the chat on the bottom left corner, ask for help. Remember, treat everyone like you want to be treated and stay friendly. Usually the community is super friendly and helpful. In all these years, I have barely encountered any toxicity and even if there's some toxic idiot, you Usually others come to defend the ones who are new or lack the knowledge on specific topics. Story missions are a great method to level up your character fast and it is also interesting to experience. Another method would be doing quests. You can find quests by searching for NPCs with a heart symbol on top of their head. These NPCs also sell you new gear for currency named Karma. But keep your Karma for now. In the beginning you will be flooded with new items. Don't fear if you and another player are attacking the same boss. The game prevents loot griefing, means if you and someone else attacks an enemy and the enemy drops, you both get a share of the loot. Comms about who gets what is not needed in this case. Whenever you find these orange rings on the map, there's an event going on. You fulfill tasks and get a reward no matter if the event is successful or not. Of course, if it is successful, the reward is higher. These events are sometimes even part of a bigger meta event of the area you're running around. Using the event timer in the Guild Wars 2 wiki, you can track when the big events and the meta events start. Usually you will find plenty of people attempting these bigger chain of events. Very often these events are even organized by either a mentor or commander. Mentors and commanders can be recognized by these symbols. They are veteran players, usually guiding player groups through specific tasks of the map. If you see them running around on the map, feel free to just join and run after them. You might even get an invite to the party or you can request to join. To join, press P to bring up the power party tool and enter the name of the player and press join. If they decline your request, don't worry, it is nothing personal. They might be a guild doing something or maybe are even full. However, no one will chase you away when you just stick to the group. Make yourself familiar with the gameplay first though. Maybe unlock the majority of your skills and then jump into the action. Also unlock waypoints, they will become crucial to move around on the map. So to summarize how to start, I would recommend doing quests and story at first, get familiar with the game and if you find something interesting, go there, don't be shy. Now let's talk about a few restrictions you should know about, especially if you're just playing the free version of the game or you have no clue what expansion you need. In the free version you can only have two characters with a maximum of three inventory bags each. 
Also in-game, you're restricted in what you can send as chat messages and post. ArenaNet wants to limit the potential of abuse using free accounts. You can reach max level 80, however, masteries are locked when playing free. Now you will see many having shiny mounts and gliders to fly around. These were introduced with the expansion Heart of Thorns and Path of Fire. To be able to gain a glider or unlock mounts, you will need to get these expansions. If you check the Guild Wars 2 shop, you will find several bundles of expansions to move you forward. If you want to head fully into Guild Wars 2, I would recommend to at least get Heart of Thorns and Path of Fire. So this is all from me today. I hope you find this video helpful and if so, please like it and maybe subscribe to my channel. Also head into the comments below and tell me if you would be interested in more videos on Guild Wars 2 and hear my perspective. By the way, we have a bunch of Guild Wars 2 players on the Discord. You can find the link in the description below. Feel free to say hello. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and as always, take care.